Let's graph the linear equation for y equals negative 5. We'll use a table of values to do this. So the thing is here, there's no x. You could think of it as y equals 0x minus 5 if you wanted to do that. But the point is, there's no x. So whatever value for x we make up, y is always going to equal negative 5. So you could say x is 1. y is going to be negative 5. You could say x is 3. y, it's negative 5. Or you could say x is 5 and y is still negative 5 because we just have essentially 0x here. So we can plot these points here. We could say x is 1, y is negative 5. x is 3 y is negative 5. x is 5. y is negative 5. So it really doesn't matter. You could say if x is negative 5, y would be negative 5. So we could put a line through this and put arrows like this to show it goes to infinity. And this is the graph for the equation y equals negative 5. That's really all there is to it. It's just a straight line. Any value for x is going to be on this line here. y will be negative 5. If you used slope-intercept form here, what we'd see is that we'd have m, the slope, that's going to be 0. So we have 0x, since we don't have x, plus negative 5. And negative 5, that's the y-intercept. So no slope, that's a straight line. And the y-intercept right here, where we cross the y-axis, that's negative 5. Another way to look at it. This is Dr. B looking at the linear equation, y equals negative 5 and graphing it. Thanks for watching.